Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Bibliocrafts, where today I'm going to show you how to take a picture frame, and we are going to make these cute little flowers out of our old book pages, and we're going to decorate our picture frame. So all you need is your pages from an old book. You'll need some scissors. And then you'll need um, glue. You can use a, a glue gun. Um, you can also use like school glue to glue these closed. Um, and you can also use a glue stick on the flowers. Uh, but you are going to need either school glue or hot glue to attach to your picture frame. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to make these flowers. Um, and you'll need to cut a square out of your page. So we're going to cut some squares. And then we're going to turn these into circles and just sort of trim them off um, and just roughly a circle. So there we go. And then cut a spiral into the center. There we go, and you will need a bunch of these, depending, the bigger your picture frame, the more spirals you will need. And then, let me, to show you how to glue these together, I'm gonna show you on a big piece first. And we'll show this a couple of times. So, all right, so I have the, my spiral. I'm gonna hold this down and then you're gonna you're gonna take and you are gonna just wrap around all right you can make it real tight if you want you can do it a little bit looser but once you get it wrapped around, you'll glue the tail. And glue it down. And so that'll be your rows. I'll show you this again on a big one. So I'm going to take the center and I'm going to hold this. And then I'm just going to wrap this around. And once I wrap it around, I just kind of grab it with my finger here. You can twist the center and it'll tighten it up a little bit. All right, and then we'll glue the tail. All right, and so there is our little rosette. All right, and I'll show you on, so here is a spiral from my book page. And I come in from underneath and I'm holding this, and this, this spiral doesn't have as many turns, so I pull it around and around and one more time. And then we'll do a bit of glue. All right, so there is my rosette. And so you're gonna just keep making 
rosettes until you have enough to cover whatever it is you want to decorate. Here is my picture frame. Um, I just got this at the dollar store. And I'm just going to put down some glue and stick on my rosettes. And then don't feel bad if, you know, your first couple takes you a minute till you get them to look nice. Um, once you get enough of them glued on, the imperfections actually bring a lot of character and charm. Um, so yeah, mine are all different sizes and all different um, some are some are more wound more tightly than others, um, and I actually had a lot of help. Some of my coworkers were nice enough, and they helped make some of these. So um, once you get the hang of this, they're actually not too bad to make, and you can, you know, make some roses um, while you watch watch a movie with your family or listen to some music. Um, I found it kind of relaxing once I, once I realized how simple it was. So yeah, we are just gonna keep gluing these until we fill the frame. All right, so we have finished hot gluing all our little rosettes. So this is our finished picture frame. Uh, if you want, you can leave it like this. You could take some watercolors and paint your little flowers um, if you wanted them to have a um, little pop of color. Right. We'll peel some of our little stringies off from our hot glue gun. Yeah, so it's not too hard to do. Um, just keep in mind if you are using school glue, liquid glue, um, that you'll have a lot longer of a drying time, so it might take a while. Uh, but they are really cute. So, there we go. If you guys give this a try, I'd love to see what your finished work looks like. Um, drop a picture down in the comments on our Facebook page. Um, if you want to try some other crafts, you can um, stop in at the library and we can get you some craft books. And then keep an eye out here on our Facebook page and also here on our YouTube channel. We have lots of different craft videos. We have some greener cleaner videos with Jessica that will be coming up. Um, story times for your little ones. All kinds of fun stuff. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, and bye.